Okay? All right, first I'm going to share with all of you the rules of this election. All right, first we're going to have speeches in the chair's election and then do ballot. While the ballots are being counted, we will start with the speeches and the ball balloting for the first vice chair. As soon as we announce the winner for chair, we will begin with the next office position and go that way so long as forth down the officers. First, and I need to remind people, only state committee members can be seated in these seats and vote. If you're a state committee member, make sure you have registered at the front and have your tag so that your vote will be counted. If you're a friend or a spouse of someone else, please step to the side. I think we've already I got that done. But you can't be seated on the floor during the balloting process. So uh, the CD chairs, uh, if someone is in your area that's not, if you can please help us make this up. Okay? Here are the rules of the election. State committee members of the Democratic Party of Georgia vote on all ballots are the only individuals who may vote today. Only credential members may vote. State committee members are sit sitting with their counties today. Ballots will be handed out by the Congressional District Chair that works with your county party. We will start with the chair's election and then move through the rest of the elections as the bylaws direct. Candidates will go in alphabetical order according to the last name. Each person standing for election has had the opportunity to name someone who will give a nominating speech for up to three minutes. Then the candidate has been allowed to select someone to give a seconding speech for up to one minute. If either of those speakers go over the allotted time, the time will be subtracted from the candidate's allocation. A timekeeper, where's Maggie? Or there's Maggie Chambers, our communication director for the party. Thank you, Maggie. She'll raise the yellow, at 30 seconds, she'll raise the yellow card. If it's time to stop, she'll raise the red card, and you must stop immediately when the red card is read. When speeches are done, everyone will vote for their candidate of choice on ballots. We have what is called roll call vote, which means you have to have a ballot. You may only vote for one candidate. If you vote for more than one candidate, your ballot will be spoiled and will not be counted. You must indicate what county you live in, and if you do not, your, map, your ballot may be spoiled and not counted. You must both print and sign your name to the ballot. They put this in bold print for this to re repeat because this keeps happening. You must print and sign your name to the ballot. If you do not, your ballot will be spoiled and we will not be counted. State committee members, your congressional district chair will be collecting your ballots and turning them into staff. Ballots will then be taken to another room and will be counted under the watchful eyes of the executive director and the director of voter protection. Every ballot will be voted, will be counted twice, not voted twice, counted twice, <laughs> independent. The numbers must match up from both the counters and they will be counted again if they do not receive the same results. Candidates turned in the names of their ballot observers on Thursday. Please note, there is to be no talking while counting is happening in the ballot counting room. So observers, please respect this rule. Observers, as soon as you cast your ballot, you can go upstairs to observe that race. I know today is going to be a long day. Please refrain from having conversations as much as you can, particularly during the speech making, or you will be called out for it. We need, and they deserve our attention um, for their nominating speeches. And as they, the ones who win, they will be announced publicly. All right, then when we're able, in between the ballots, We'll take care of the, of the party's business. We'll have the finance report. We have a presentation from Sarah Miko. We have a number of things, the caucus is their reports. But we'll do that 
in between so we can get the balloting done through as quickly as possible. All right, the order of the elections as commanded by the bylaws is chair, vice chair, congressional district county liaison, vice chair, constituency group, vice chair, candidate recruitment, vice chair, state secretary, state treasurer. First, I'm going to ask all the candidates for chair and the individuals who are making a nominating or seconding speech uh, to come on up to the front so we can save uh, a time. So for the chair's race, which will now begin, with the candidates and those who are going to nominate them, please come up here to the front. <laughs> 